good afternoon, uh, Jalen Mateus from Time Out Brazil. Uh, congratulations for going for the NFL draft. Uh, what you can talk about the the pro day that you have, and how do you think that that helped you on the stock for the NFL draft? Yeah, I'm really excited uh, for Friday. Um, I finally get to uh, showcase Jaylen, for my... some reason the sound's not working. I can hear him. Try again, Jalen, see if they can hear you. Hello? Yep, good to go. Okay. Uh, can you repeat the question? Sure, sure. Uh, uh, how do you think that the pro day that you're going to have is going to help you do on this on this draft process? Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I finally get to showcase my talents, and I feel like um, not a lot of people know about my athletic background, so I finally get to showcase, you know, what I do best, um, which is, you know, get out, run, change direction. And I feel like a lot of people are going to have an eye-opening, um, you know, experience when they see me. Um, I'm able to run, able to, you know, move uh, really well uh, for being this size. And I feel like, um, you know, my stock's going to go up tremendously. And if I have, can have a quick follow-up, how do you think that playing on the Big Ten, one of the strongest conference in college, help you develop for the next level? Yeah, uh, especially last year um, playing against some of the best competition um, in the country. Uh, came strictly from our conference. And I feel like when I went against uh, whatever team it was, um, it was it forced me, you know, to do my best and um, really put pressure on me to perform. So I feel like um, anytime I get in high pressure situations, um, you know, I could have uh, past experience to fall back on. Just a reminder, if you have a question, put it in the chat function um, so that we can call on you. Our next question here in order is uh, David Woodruff. Hey, Jalen, looking back at your Michigan career, um, can you just talk about maybe something that you're going to remember about wearing the maize and blue? Yeah, so uh, my first ever game um, starting probably was the most memorable time I had. It was, you know, just a day full of mixed emotions. You know, I was anxious. I was excited. Um, but, you know, I never really could put into words, you know, what my first play was going to be like. And so... Um, after I got to that first play, um, you know, I was ready to go after that. And I felt like, you know, all the butterflies and stuff went out and I can finally just play football the way I know how to play it. And um, I think that's probably the biggest memory I have. Our next question here is from Alex. Hey, Jalen, just two quick questions. Uh, a, have you ha had any contact with the Steelers yet? And B, I know you've played right and left tackle, mostly at right uh, tackle, but just what is your mindset and how, what are the differences between playing both tackle spots? Because some people think it's just interchangeable, right tackle, left tackle, it's the same. But how do you adjust, you know, footwork and hand placement and things like that playing both tackle spots? Yeah, so um, I'm able to play any of the five positions up front. Um, I'm able to play center, guard, tackle, um, and I'm pretty comfortable playing the left. Uh, my freshman year, I played left tackle. Um, and then the last two years, I played right tackle. So I'm really um, comfortable with both sides. Um, I think, you know, the more versatile you are, the, you know, better chance you have a lasting longer in NFL. So um, I don't see much of a big difference. Of course, there's a little bit difference just, you know, footwork wise, but, um, you know, I don't see much difference. Any contact with Pittsburgh? Uh, yes. Our next question here is uh, Dan Wolkenstein. Hey, Jalen, this is Dan Wolkenstein from the Brawl Network. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Hey, congrats on the upcoming draft. Uh, excited for you. Uh, Two-part question. One, uh, I cover the Chargers out here in L.A. So first part, have you had any talks with the Chargers? How do you see yourself fitting there? And the second question, a lot of teams you mentioned before are looking for versatility for the offensive line. A lot of teams need both offensive tackle, guard, potentially center. Where do you see yourself fitting the best in the NFL? Um, I see myself fitting pretty well at tackle. Um, I feel like I'm really athletic. I'm able, you know, to move, you know, laterally and um, get a lot of blocks done or, that are asked me. And I feel like um, that, you know, my versatility will really show up Friday. Um, they're going to be able to see me, you know, move around and 
um, you know, try different things out. So I think, you know, everybody will be kind of surprised how versatile I am. And then what about your fit for the Chargers? Have you talked to them? Uh, no, I have not. Okay. Our next question here is from Cassidy. Hey, Jalen, nice to meet you. I have another team to ask you about. Have you had any contact with the Jaguars? And if so, what have they laid out sort of as plans for you possibly? Um, I have talked to the Jaguars and um, not really any plans, just, you know, getting to know me and um, just really talking football. They're going to be able to take a quarterback, presumably number one overall, new coach, whole new staff. Does that change the perception of a one in 15 team for prospects? Um, I really have, you know, the utmost respect for Urban Meyer. Um, you know, the stuff he was doing at, you know, Ohio State, um, you know, was really fantastic for him. And um, I have no doubt in my mind that they'll be able to, you know, be an up and coming team throughout the years. And, you know, he's a great coach and, and they're going to have some great players over the next couple of years. So if I am taken there, you know, it'd be an honor. Thank you. Congratulations. Our next question here is from Matt Baker. Hey, Jalen, can you take us back to your decision to, uh, to to play this past season? And how do you feel like that kind of affected uh, affects your draft stock compared to how you set out? Yeah, so, um, you know, it was just a crazy year trying to, you know, get everything together with COVID and um, trying to figure things out. So, you know, once the season got canceled, I kind of already had in my head that I wanted to, you know, come out this year. Um, but, you know, once football was, you know, reinstated for the Big Ten, it was a no-brainer for me. Um, you know, I'm one of the least experienced guys in the draft, so I felt like just getting more playing time and more snaps uh, under my belt could really help me. And I felt like, you know, playing those two games that I did uh, really helped me and show people that I can, you know, am more consistent and just got overall better as a player. And so you're, you're glad you did that? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Our next question here is from Kevin Fishbane. Hey, Jalen, I want to go back to 2019. Uh, what was it like working with uh, Coach Juan Castillo? Uh, it was incredible. Um, he's taught me a lot um, just that year he was there. Um, I can't thank him enough for helping me develop um, into the player I am today. And, um, you know, he was a great guy. Um, have a lot of memories with him. And, um, you know, I'm just really happy for him that he got back in the NFL. And, um, you know, he's just such a great guy. And you know, I'm excited for him and his career. What, what parts of your game did he really help you with? Um, just being coming more consistent uh, with my, you know, set, um, getting my, you know, vertical set to be, you know, more consistent, not having, you know, one set that looks great or one set, you know, that looks, you know, okay. Um, just constantly getting that set and um, getting me in position to make my blocks. I think, you know, once you get in position, uh, that's 80% of the battle. And so, you know, if I could be, you know, the most consistent I can be in that, I won a lot of battles. Next question here for you is um, from Alex Fleming. How you doing, Jalen? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Alex Fleming, Florida Sun. Uh, bouncing off of what the Cassidy said, two questions. One, do you think big men in the trenches don't get the respect that they deserve because you guys do a lot of the dirty work, especially in the Big Ten Conference. And number two, how do you feel about Florida? You saw how Tristan Wirth stood out with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, Sunshine is going to need some protection, and Miami's always looking for good offensive linemen. So how do you feel about the Sunshine State? Yeah, so, uh, you know, I love Florida. Um, got to play down there last year, and um, I love the weather down there. Um, I feel like, you know, it'd be – just playing in the sun, you know, always will bring a smile to my face. But, um, yeah, I going off her of that, I feel like, you know, I'm ready um, no matter who drafts me and I'm ready, you know, to do whatever they need. So I feel like, um, you know, any type of skill I could provide or um, any type of service I could provide, you know, it's just a, um, as much as I can do. Our next question here is from Stanfield Management. Hey, Jalen, this is uh, D. Stanfield from Fresh Respective Sports via Rise Up Family. How you doing today? Good. How are you? Excellent. Uh, I cover the Buffalo Bills and the Atlanta and the Atlanta Falcons, and uh, we know there's a lot of a lot of uh, backdoor connections between Coach Harbaugh and the Buffalo area. Uh, with the with the Bills making some moves, some serious moves this year, I wanted to know if you 
where you see yourself fitting in uh, in the NFL in its best capacity, and uh, do you and what things did, did have you improved upon while playing under Coach Harbaugh? Yeah, so I see myself, you know, being a very uh, talented player. Um, I see myself able to, you know, adapt to different schemes that are presented to me. Um, you know, I've developed really well under Coach Harbaugh. Um, the coaching staff he had while I was here um, really helped me um, grow as a person, uh, helped me mature a lot faster um, than I feel like I would have at any other place. Um, they really make sure you're on top of your stuff and um, you got to hold yourself more accountable. Um, you know, they're going to push you, but I feel like um, you got to really want it and really um, be dedicated if you want to make that next step to the NFL. Appreciate you. We've noticed uh, your improvements as well. So uh, kudos to you, brother. Thank you. Next question here is from Isaiah. Hey, Jalen. As someone who played exclusively under Ed Warner as an offensive line coach, uh, how how surprised were you that uh, – were you surprised, rather, that uh, he was – let go from the staff and with that in mind uh, did you ever what were your impressions essentially of uh Sharon Moore and what he is as a coach and what you made know, me I was a little surprised um but I you know they probably did what's best for them and um you know did what's best for the team and here but you know coach Warner helped me tremendously um develop more confidence and um skill in my game and you know I can't thank him enough for that but uh, Coach Moore, I feel like, you know, he's definitely a guy who's going to bring energy, definitely somebody who's going to, you know, um, you know, care about his players a lot, somebody who's going to um, try to get the best out of you. And so I feel like, um, you know, Coach Moore is going to be a great guy. Um, he played the position, um, so he knows a lot about the game. Uh, I know he has a lot to teach the young guys, and, um, you know, he can just bring so much to the table. Next question here is from Larry Lage. Jalen, uh, two questions. Uh, one, are you disappointed at all that there's not a traditional combine where you would have got a chance to maybe showcase your skills a little bit more, um, as you mentioned, in motivation? Um, and number two, um, Jim Harbaugh, obviously a lot of experience in the NFL. What has he told you about that experience, or how do you think he's prepared you for this next step? Yeah, so I'm definitely disappointed um, about the combine. Uh, not being in person, but, you know, um, I've been training my whole life for this. Uh, you know, it's always been a dream um, just to, you know, get to this point and, you know, have a chance to be in the NFL. Um, I would, you know, love if I was in Indy right now uh, doing the combine there. But, you know, with the times we are at, you know, it's unable to happen. So I'm just excited I get to showcase my skill and, you know, my talents that I have um, this Friday. And Coach Harbaugh, he's, he's been amazing for me. Um, you know, he's did a lot of things in the game of football and um, coaching in NFL. You know, he has a lot of connections and um, a lot of, you know, memories about the game. And uh, one thing he told me is, is it's a business. So you always got to be on top of your stuff. Um, you always, you know, got to hold yourself accountable. Um, there's not going to be somebody, you know, always on your back trying to push you. Um, but you got to, you know, stay motivated and, um, you know, stay engaged with everything. And I think that won't be a problem for me. Next question here is from Angelique. Jalen, the offensive line you're leaving behind, can you assess what, what the talent is that uh, Michigan has coming back at offensive line? Thank you. Yeah, so, um, you know, one guy that I think really stands out for me um, is Zach Zinner. Um, he's a very talented guy. Um, loves the game. He's always, you know, looking for ways to get better. Um, I think he has such a high ceiling. Um, he's very versatile, very, you know, strong kid. Um, he's very athletic as well. Um, I think, you know, he's going to be a big part of what they have next year. Um, but the other four guys that they bring back, um, you know, just another year of playing, you know, together as a unit is really going to help them. Um, you know, they got a lot of talent up front, a lot of, you know, different skill sets that they, they can all bring to the table. And I feel like, there's going to be some, you know, breakout, you know, players for them up front. Um, Ryan Hayes, Chuck Palaga, um, you know, I think those are two guys that are going to have, you know, breakout seasons. Next question here is from Ryan. Hey, Jalen, what, what have you been doing to, to prepare for the past few months? And, and is there any workout or drill you kind of surprised yourself with, with how, you, how you've done in, in that? Um, I wouldn't say surprised. Um, you know, I've definitely improved on a lot. 
um, the injury I had kind of set me back a little bit, but I got right back to where, um, you know, I initially was and gotten better from that. Um, you know, there's been a ton of workouts I've done, um, but they're, you know, just normal training um, that everybody else has done. We got time for a couple more questions. We'll start next with Cameron Smallwood. Uh, hey, uh, Cameron, you there? Well, I think my sound is up. Hold on. You, 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 can, you can just pass me. Hold on. Sorry. All right. We'll come back to you in just a second. I'll go to Aaron. Jalen, your, your name has come up in, <clears throat> as a potential first round pick. And I'm wondering what, what it would mean to you if you were drafted in the first round. Yeah, it'd be incredible for me. Um, there's been a lot of things that have went on in my life that have led up to, you know, getting to this moment. And I feel like if I hear my name called on the 29th, you know, I'm just going to be so ecstatic and um, so grateful for the opportunity. Um, but I, I'll realize that, you know, it's just another step in my path to, you know, becoming a player that I want to be. Um, so no matter where I'm drafted, you know, it's going to be an honor for me. If I could follow up to you, obviously opted out early on and decided to come back and play this year. Do you have any regrets about coming back and playing? No. Um, Cameron, you there now? Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, 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 so, uh, Jalen, you obviously have had a lot of teammates go on to the uh, NFL in the draft. Um, I, wonder, I was wondering if anyone has come back in contact with you um, over the past couple of years and given you advice going into your draft. Yeah, um, we had four guys last year um, that really helped me and um, really, you know, came back and talked to me just about their experience in the NFL so far. Um, so I thought that was really helpful from all those guys and, um, you know, they're, you know, excited for me and, um, you know, I just take everything they say, um, you know, and magnify it because, you know, they're experiencing it and I have yet to experience it. So, you know, I'm thankful for the advice they've given me and, you know, I'm taking everything they say. And then a quick follow-up, uh, you mentioned, uh, you mentioned the combine in India. I was wondering if, uh, anyone in India has contacted you because, I cover the Colts, and they're on the on the lookout for a tackle to put it in. Yeah, I've talked to India. Thank you, Jalen. Time for one more question with Jalen. Um, uh, Alex. Thank you, sir. Uh, just as parting notes, Jalen, what notes of wisdom did uh, Mr. Harbaugh leave with you? and tell you about getting ready for the next level? Um, I kind of mentioned it earlier. Um, you know, he told me, um, treat everything like a business. Just make sure you're, you know, holding yourself accountable um, and be ready. You know, the more versatile you are, the you know more likelihood you have of staying in the NFL longer. And so, um, you know, I'm training at all five positions and um, anywhere I'm able to play, you know, earliest, I'm ready to go.